What's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So big reason why I have not recorded YouTube in the last couple weeks is I got my wisdom teeth out. So yeah, my cheeks really weren't that bad, but I'll pop a picture up right now. Yeah, really that was the main reason why. And so yeah, now we're back, back on the YouTube grind. Um, I'm in Florida, not in Ohio. In the last YouTube video I was in Ohio. So yeah, I'm down here for some Blue Star shoots. And why I'm hopping on here before this video starts is I had a nasty shoulder workout yesterday that I recorded for my app, so it's not YouTube style, but I'm going to post it anyway. So yeah, guess that's what I'm just pretty much saying. I'm posting a shoulder workout really quick, like 20 seconds, and then we'll get to the vlog. So yeah. It's like 8.30 a.m. right now. I'll probably grab like a protein bar or something and I'm gonna go to the gym. I get a really good session since I'm all healed up. So, yeah. Currently 9.20 a.m. I usually do not work out this early. A YouTube video in like two weeks. A little rundown. I am sorry. I missed you guys. Hope you guys have been doing good. I don't even remember how to talk to the camera. It's kind of weird right now. But, yeah, I'm in Florida right now. Honestly, just haven't had a whole lot of time to record for YouTube. Honestly, just like been like grinding my ass off in the gym and just like really focusing on my workouts. But today I'm gonna show you guys a back workout because that is like my most requested. Also, if I look kind of sleepy right now, I am sorry because I am, I haven't taken my pre-workout yet. And it's 921, so that's why. Yeah, we're about to take some pre-workout and sadly I don't have PPK from Blue Star, but I have a different um, pre-workout here that I'm just gonna take really quick as caffeine's caffeine, it's whatever it is what it is. So yeah. Is it okay? If I'm the same, I'm catching feelings from all the dealings. Kind of funny, but I was coming here back when I was like newbie, like 140 pounds, like could barely even bench like 135. See, this is actually like one of my OG gyms, like literally my OG gym of Florida. So yeah, I don't really train here too often just because I was gone. Now that I'm back, I got like a little one month membership here. So I've been training here a little bit. So yeah, we're going in here. And one thing I like about this gym is they really don't give a shit what you do. You can slam weights like a lot of people here are like power lifters bodybuilders like take fitness like serious like everyone's sweet too and like obviously they don't care about my recording so that's always good so yeah we're going here not sure if i can talk because i don't know if there's like a bunch of people in here it's kind of smaller gym so yeah. through my workout from yesterday morning and it's a back workout and yeah that's really all i gotta say we're gonna hop right into this all right guys so first thing we did was um incline bench because the only reason why i did incline bench is because the day before i had a chest workout and i was waiting for an incline bench for like 30 minutes and i just said you know i'm not incline benching now, i'll see you tomorrow so you get into this back workout i started with um wide grip lap pull downs and i know a lot of gyms aren't going to have this some um, attachment if your gym does have this attachment it's really cool i know like crunch has it um, Monster Master Miles that here has it. So yeah, I think it's a really cool like my muscle connection lap pull down. I don't know why I have a much better connection with my lats when I'm pulling this way rather than when I'm pulling that way. So yeah, here's just a, another angle a bit close. And then next I went to um, cable rows. This thing is like zooming. Um, yeah, I was happy with how my back looked here and cable rows have always been one of like my, my main like growing uh, exercises for back. I don't know why I just have really good mind muscle connection and it's like funny with lat pull downs I usually don't have a very good mind muscle connection but yeah here's just another angle um, again I was pretty happy with how this looks I feel like when I'm doing um, cable rows when I can really see my back progressing so yeah that was just a light set just lightened up the weight and then it's kind of funny so with straight arm um, 
I usually don't do these with bro open. The reason why is I don't have very good connection with my lats when I'm doing it like this compared to when I'm doing it with a straight bar. I personally prefer straight bar a lot better than I do rope. And yeah. All right, guys. So what I like to do for back, I like to do two back strips, two back exercises, followed by an arm workout. So we did pull downs, we did cables. I guess we did three. We also did cable rows, and now I'm gonna do two cable um, bicep curls. I just met two really cool guys that followed my stuff, so that was pretty cool. So yeah, if you guys ever see me at the gym, I promise I'm not mean. But yeah, we're gonna do some cable curls really quick, and then yeah, finish this up because it's been about an hour. So here we're just doing curls. Nothing too special, just cable curls. And I like to imagine my reps for these between three seconds. So, you know, one, two, three, and then down, because I feel like a lot of times people are just, you know, slamming it up and down, and I don't know why. For biceps, I've always had really good bicep growth when I go super slow, my muscle connection. Not sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'm still doing... I added this like last night at like 2 a.m. I was like half asleep. So I'm still doing um, cable curls. And I usually do four sets of these. So And I like to keep it high reps too. So I don't like to go overly heavy. I think I just have 70 pounds here. And I was going sets of like 12 to 15. And then I'm um, one set to failure after. Then I got asked if I um, do any like arm day, like straight arm days. And I actually do some straight arm days. But I feel like since I've been lifting them, my arms are probably the my definitely my strength so I honestly don't train arms um, as one just because I feel like my arms are a bit disproportional my body it sounds weird but so true like my shoulders compared to my arms my arms are way more developed than my shoulders so yeah that's why I really don't do a whole lot of arm stuff and if I do I do triceps and not biceps just because my biceps are more developed as a whole so yeah all over here um, I usually would, I don't know why, I usually would go back to another back exercise, but I decided to not do that, and I decided to go into more arms. I think I was more, I don't really train arms a lot, so I think when I do train arms, I have a lot of fun with it, just because arms is fun to train. Who doesn't like train arms? I love I love training arms, just my arms are definitely my most developed body part, so I don't like to train them too much, or my arms would just be giant. And, yeah, we don't want our arms to be too big. But, um, yeah, not sure what... I did next. I think I just did more curls. I think I did hammer. Uh, just kidding. I did alternating. Um, I think I might have done. Yeah, this was honestly just kind of like a superset, like last like set of curls type of deal. So I pretty much just went like all out to failure here. Yeah, now I'm doing hammer curls. I don't know why I do remember that set, but if you guys can see, this gym is like super dead. Super cool gym. Usually not a lot of people there, and when they are there, everyone's really cool. So I really like that gym, Monster Mouse. A little back check. Yeah, that my lats were really coming in, and that's just like, I'm so happy to say that just because back has been such a lacking point for mine forever. So here is actually a new exercise I've been doing, so you guys can't see, but I'm on my knees right now, and like it looks like it's a lot of weight, but it's really not. That's actually pretty light for these, and I don't like to go heavy just because I want the full stretch all the way up and then the squeeze all the way down. So yeah, I've been finishing off with um, those. I don't even know what really to call those. I guess just knee, close, grip, pull downs, whatever you want to call those. So yeah, if you guys aren't doing those, those are really good. And if you guys don't have that attachment, because I know a lot of gyms don't have that attachment, just use the cable. It won't be as good of a mind-muscle connection, but still really good mind-muscle connection. I love training back so fucking much. I don't understand, like, when I first started weightlifting, I'd say definitely legs and my back were definitely the weakest points and I think it's kind of funny because now looking back like training legs and back are honestly my favorite things to train so yeah I guess the moral of this is if you guys want to make you know pretty good progress in the gym is focus on your weaknesses literally like if you're really insecure how I was then literally find an hour sorry got cut off anyway if you guys are like insecure how I was, like don't want to be seen at the gym, like doing your weaknesses, I think that's why I did not work on my weaknesses. Cause I would, I would like, when I first started lifting, I'd wear joggers every single day. So I didn't want anyone to see my legs. So I feel like that's another reason why, like I was so insecure. I had like chicken legs, my back was like non-existent. So I think a big reason why 
I did not grow that first like year or even two because I wasn't focusing on my weaknesses. So if you have to go to the gym at 2 a.m. or even work out at home do your weaknesses, do it. Because like if you're focusing on your strengths every single day, if you're going and benching every day, you're not going to see real progress. So you guys want to see really, really good progress in the gym, want to change and do your weaknesses. Trust me. Promise. Love you.